curve has equation y equals e to the x squared plus 3x to determine the x coordinates of any stationary points on the curve. So for this, we're going to need to do dy by dx. It's the chain rule. And there's a quick way to do it. So you can, we've got a function of a function. The outside is e to the something. And the inside is then the x squared plus 3x. So we can differentiate the outside, keeping the inside the same. That's going to give us e to the x squared plus 3x. Then we times by the derivative of the inside, 2x plus 3. Strongly advise getting your head around this if you haven't already. The alternative way to do it, much longer way, is to say that u is equal to x squared plus 3x. And then dy by dx is going to be dy by du, du by dx. So if u is x squared plus 3x and y is e to the u, dy by du is e to the u. And you see, this is me basically doing the outside and keeping the inside the same. I'm just trying to show you where it's coming from, that quick rule. Times by the derivative of the inside, the x squared plus 3x. So you can see we get the same answer when I put u back in. That's the main question. This is then equal to zero for stationary points. However, this is never zero. It's always greater than zero. So although it said stationary points, there's going to only be one in this case. 2x plus 3 equals zero, which means x is minus 3 over 2. We can, you can divide through by it if you prefer, you can just get rid of that, or you could consider them equaling zero separately, but the, the one on the right never does. Then B, we're asked to show that the curve is convex for all values of x. Convex means the second derivative is greater than zero. I always think, well, concave is sort of un underground because we're in a cave so that's less than zero or you can think about a cave looking like that which is kind of the shape that a concave curve takes and then convex is when it's the second derivative is greater than zero so let's find the second derivative we're going to have to apply differentiation again so i've got dy by dx equal to 2x plus 3 e to the x squared plus 3x and this time it's the product rule then combined with the chain rule so i'll call this u and this v u dash is just going to be 2 and v dash is going to be 2x plus 3 times e to the x squared plus 3x because that's what we did in part a so then u dash v plus u v dash that's our product rule formula is going to become 2 e to the x squared plus 3x plus u times v, that's going to become 2x plus 3 squared e to the x squared plus 3x. Just need to show that this is always greater than 0. So don't try and set it greater than 0 and then solve it. We want to show that it's always greater than 0. It's a slightly different strategy. So I can factorize out the e to the uh, x squared plus 3x. Now you could expand the quadratic, but actually it's in completed square form already. This is good. So back to saying that this is always positive. And this is greater or equal to 2 because it's in completed square form because this thing here is always greater or equal to 0. And that means that the second derivative, I've just realized. I didn't actually write it down here. Second derivative is always going to be greater than zero, and therefore the curve is always convex, I want to say. Convex for all values of x. Nice little fancy way of saying for all x is actually this thing here, but feel free to write for all x in words instead. Okay, there we go. So I hope that makes sense. We've found the second derivative. We've uh, we've said right the exponential is always positive. 
I don't have to write loads of reasoning down. This thing here in completed square form is always greater than zero as well, because it's greater or equal to two. And that means overall the second derivative is greater than zero and therefore it's, it's convex. Good.